Hello, Internet lands. Oh, my God. My cat is like, hi. Yes, everybody sees you. Now Jasper's famous. Okay, so, Biff Crow with Man Cave Museum here. I've got a new project. Today, I'm going to go ahead, since the kids are finally back at school and the summer's over, I'm going to go ahead and install brand new LED lights into this awesome, awesome display cabinet that I got earlier this summer. Actually, I paid 100 delivered Canadian. So... The deals are out there. You just got to find them. Check out your local ads. Like if you're in Canada, check out Kijiji. If you're not in Canada, check out Craigslist. Uh, local papers always work. Estate sales, store closing sales. Anyways, there's no lights or anything on my display case here. Uh, no decals. It's just a solid white. Uh, and I've got some box systems in there right now. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to have to take everything, including this massive 60-inch TV. I know it probably doesn't look that big on the camera. Take this massive TV off. Take the Ouya off. Take the Xbox off. Probably pet my cat who really, really wants attention. Yes, Jasper, we see you. Okay, he's like, what are you doing, Dad? Okay, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cut to when I get everything out and I bring it forward. So I'm probably going to be very exhausted by the end of this, but uh, let's get it going. All right. All righty, so now I got her nice and opened up. Everything's off of it. Uh, as you can see, it's, you know, it's basically, and it's in beautiful shape i mean i was really happy with the price i paid it's basically a retail display case uh which is if you look like i've got a lot of my a lot of my stuff in the in the man cave here in retail display cases um and then these are just simple you know pegs they hold the secondary glass shelf right here all right and then uh, of course this is the t the actual uh, countertop itself so anyways i got all my box stuff out of there and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick uh quick cleaning Ta -da. whoops i was actually like that's so weird i was looking through the camera and it's like my whole depth perception is off because of the zoom or whatever okay so anyways that's good to go what i'm gonna do now is I'm going to get, and we're actually in the process of remodeling our house, so like you'll see a lot of stuff is still going on. I'll do a game room tour eventually, I'm sure. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get this open here. Uh, this is just a simple commercial electric uh, LED light rope kit. has a plug and everything. It's pretty much plug and play, and I'm going to work on winding it around and everything. But uh, the thing is, like, this actually has, uh, like, little hooks. Um, well, here, I'll, I'll go ahead and cut it out. I'll show you in a sec. All right, so I got it opened up here. And as I was saying, this has little hooks that basically you can thread the actual rope uh, through. However, if you see, they require that you drill and put the screws in. I really don't want to do anything that's going to permanently change uh, the actual display case itself. Because let's be honest, like 50 years from now, 100 years from now, I don't know if I'm going to still have this same display case. So the last thing I want to do is actually ruin the value by drilling holes in it and stuff. It's one thing to attach and do vinyls and decals and stuff like that. It's another to start like putting holes in. So what I did is I've got this... Uh, double-sided adhesive tape that you just get at the dollar store and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just smack these right onto the adhesive tape throughout like the different sections that I'm gonna thread the line through and then that way it should hold I mean if they come off they come off right but the point is it won't be anything permanent or it won't even be ruining the wood or anything so my goal is I'm going to lead the actual electricity in through here, all right? And then this will be open maybe by about that much to thread the actual lead in. So it's going to come in, and then it's going to go up, and then it's going to go across, and then it's going to go down, and then it's going to go back, and then it's going to go around, or something similar to that extent. Essentially, we want to try to light up the front of everything, the top, and maybe a little behind. So. 
Uh, now to stick all the sticky things on with the line holders, so wish me luck. Okay. <clears throat> well, uh, the rope is proving to be a lot less malleable than I thought. It sticks and then it pops off, like right here. So my fear is if I don't bolt it in, that it's just going to keep popping off and popping off. And that's not going to work when I have like a lot of really, well, at least to me, very valuable memorabilia in here. I don't need it getting all knocked around if this thing decides to pop off on every angle. So it looks like I am going to have to put the screws in. But then the more I'm thinking about it, the more I realize that uh, it is a display case. It Most display cases have lights. It's a LED lighting system. I don't think, unless I crack the glass, that it's going to hurt the value. So I've been thinking about it as I've been doing it, and I've actually changed my mind. I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to secure those in with the bolts provided. So, or the screws provided. So, uh, update coming soon. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm about halfway through the process. Man, my allergies are going really bad today. Uh, what I've been doing is I've been taking the screws, uh, feeding them in to the plastic holders, okay? And then once I've done that, I've been using the screwdriver uh, to hold it in place. And then I've been smacking it with the wrench, because I don't want to use a hammer, I just want to go lightly. Just enough to breach the surface of the wood, and then, yes, as much as it hurts, and it's a lot of more work. Uh, I've been screwing and manually driving the screws in. Um, so far, I've got it to where I'm going to feed in here to here. Then we're going to go over to there. And then over there is where my first change from the pattern goes. And what I'm thinking is going to happen is the actual cable is going to loop, go up. Then I'm going to have something guided over here, here. Then we're going to go across the front, here back and I believe I'll be out of rope by then. So we're about halfway and uh, yeah, it's coming along. That was definitely a lot of work. I wouldn't want to do it again today because it is quite humid outside. And uh, I think uh, all in all it took me about an hour and a half. But uh, there we go. She is all lit. Uh, yeah, she is nice and bright for me. Yes, there is glass here. It's just that clean. And uh, I'm using the little sticky pad thingies all throughout the top here to kind of keep it from drooping. But I think what I'm going to end up doing is I may end up using a different kind of adhesive in the future to keep it there because they keep popping off. So I'm going to keep monitoring it and seeing how they do. But all in all, uh, the display case is fairly well lit. Thinking about putting maybe a PlayStation decal down there or a Sega decal. So we'll see. That might be another project for another day. But as far as this one, that's a wrap. Thank you for watching and please drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed anything I did for you on this video today. Let your friends know I'm still new to this whole thing. So every bit helps. Peace. See you soon from Canada. Biff Crow out.